hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Latoya and in this video I'll, I'll be taking you through my trip my a, a small mini vacation in Niagara Falls so there's a lot going on there's a lot to do and I'm excited to just to have a good time I decided that you know what I'm just gonna start doing stuff start traveling a bit start traveling actually I'm, I'm not gonna say a bit more because I haven't really traveled that's one of my goals going forward so I'm like okay why not just start near <laughs> and then start branching out for further i thought you know what i mean ontario niagara falls is right there so why not just go to niagara falls and start there yeah so i'm going to take you through what my hotel the hotel looks like in a bit this is probably even half of it what you're seeing right now and it's nothing fancy but it's just something to get me through the next couple of nights and i mean niagara falls so it, it's a bit expensive anyway um so this is a view i have a small chair right here and i booked a double queen it's cheaper so that's why i did that so i just have my clothes and my things on one bed and the other one i sleep on honestly guys i just fixed it up just to show you but otherwise it was messy i have a nice pretty frame right here uh chest and a television over it which i don't even turn on and a nice pretty mirror right here yeah a nice little mini fridge here microwave got some cups and whatnot and i got like a towel rack ac is off right now because we have vlog but when it's done i'm going to turn it up cool 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 <laughs> and then this is the bathroom and i just lay the towel this was the bath this was the bathroom mat i just laid it well foot mat or whatever and i just laid a hand towel here because i don't like my foot to be on the tile so I have a mirror, this is the sink, the basin, and that's just my stuff here, makeup kit, soap, toothbrush, story, story, toilet, and then this is the um, shower. And then they have this rug here, rug kind of, you know, you know, you know, like how the rug look, but at the end of the day, it's soft and nice and it's clean. So for the most part, it, the hotel is it's small and stuff but it's clean and as long as it clean my good oh so now guys i already did a few things i'm gonna insert those clips um in i'm gonna insert those clips going forward um but yeah I, I did some stuff and it was it was nice i enjoyed myself i'm not gonna lie i, I really enjoy doing those stuff especially the boat ride <laughs>
I was trying to vlog a bit more closer to the falls, but the water was so heavy, I couldn't. So now we're back. Um, we went out of the fall and we're turning back now. And I am soaked. <laughs> I am soaked. I'm wiping my face because I am just 100% soaked. And now our US neighbors are passing by and they're waving, making noise, and we are waving, making noise. So it was a good atmosphere. This was a good trip. You should definitely try it. This was a good trip. So I have my jacket. I have my jacket on. On my waist, the M is soaked. The M on my foot, dress soaked. Guys, I'm not telling a lie. I barely recover from that boat cruise. Water everywhere. My eyes, my nose, my ears everywhere. But on to the next. You know, Latoya is not going to be called Latoya. I want to go find this. And I think that's exactly what Latoya is going to do. This is the um, right here and there's a the next section that you can go. There's the stairs right there. You can go down and go around and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not recover yet to go down there. But in about five minutes, I will probably go down and show you guys. To kind of get over the height when I just come, I just walk around a bit, skip shop. Just walk around for a couple minutes and then we go down. And all your windy thing again guys, because it's just glass. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Guys, from this diagram here, it has three different sections and I'm at the observation deck. So it has the revolving dining room, which I would not go. The buffet, which probably I won't eat up. I already know guys. I'm going down and open. Oh, it's, it's not that bad. Just windy. It's actually not as bad as I thought, but it's so far made it from the edge. We're literally there. Right. To the other side. Um, so there's the the sky the wheel or whatever so much higher than it the bridge is here I'm gonna move closer scare the cat scare the cat it's actually not that bad it's kind of a little seems a little secure it's not that There was a guy interviewing older people and one of the things that came out of that is like you know sometimes we take life too some of the things that they were saying is like some of the time we take life too serious some of the things that you worried about after a while you realize it wasn't that serious and another thing that they said they wish they had traveled more when they were younger they didn't have enough money to book a fancy hotel or to do fancy things so that's what they thought traveling would have been about you know kind of a something something down that road so what they're saying now is like now that they can afford to travel and and to do the wonderful thing is their bodies aren't allowing them aren't allowing them oh it's just like we have the money to do this and that but 
the health is not 100 our bodies is not 100 percent so you know what so it's, so it's, it's kind of the same thing for me that i'm feeling now it's like i've always said like you know i don't have enough money to go here there and all about you know so now i'm just gonna invest some invest some money and time into actually traveling pan less than what i would have wanted to travel on and i'm not saying this to say guys if you're broke to go out there and travel and spurt out all your money and not act responsible that that's not what i'm saying as the at the end of the day i still have backup money i still have my emergency fund i still have i just still have the things in place that i need to so i just work with the liquid i have and enjoy myself the same way right stuff you can do on a lower budget on uh, a smaller budget that's what i am doing until it reached to a point where i can afford to do what i need to enjoy myself the same way with what i have and um, so that's my recommendation to you now go out there and go say you're gonna do this and that and don't have it and then you go on broke and in debt not what i'm saying guys so please do not do that say the boat ride child it was nice and i and i uh, one thing i wish is that we stayed out there a little longer it was like maybe a 20 minutes ride and whatnot but it was really nice i i love like water parks i like water splashing on me and that was <laughs> that was majority of what it was like guys my soak i was soaked all right but it's fun and even when you're you're walking along just the, the pavement of the falls where you're supposed to walk it, it it drizzles so so like i don't know so like the, the foam are are the water splash by you but not not so much it's more like sprinkler or drizzle right so when you actually get under the falls guys it's like heavy rain <laughs> it's like every rain so i couldn't i couldn't vlog that because my phone would have done guys getting into the falls it was nice it was nice and as i say you couldn't vlog even if you have a plastic over your phone you could have vlog because at one point i couldn't even see anything i couldn't see nothing too much water or wet me up I look, i'm looking at a lady beside me and i should do a water off her face don't wear glasses <laughs> i mean if you wear glasses you have to wear glasses or whatever but even your bare eyes you can't see and then the boat turned the boat was turning to come back to to dock and when it was turning right at them time me can't see nothing but you know what it was, it was really fun um i really enjoyed that after the boat ride i was like you know they, they took us you have to go to they took us to a gift shop and i'm like you know what why not try start a tradition for myself where everywhere i visit i just get something to say hey you know what i've traveled here or whatever as i said niagara falls is just right there or whatever to where i live but it counts i got this and i really like it so this is my little thing so it's like small things i'll just pick up this cost me 9.99 but as i said tourist era what can you expect because i was looking to take up like a, a coffee mug and when we look at like almost 20 dollars so I'll go for one of the cheapest things I saw. So it's road time again, and this time it's skydiving indoors. <laughs> but make us walk on, make us walk on for it. So I'm now fully dressed except for my hair. Um, I have these sneakers that I bought this morning when I went out. It was pretty. It was. It wasn't chilly or anything, but it was really windy. So it's, it's evening now because it's about five o'clock, six o'clock probably. I am going to see a show, and you know, my camera out the call. So um, I am going to be wearing this, and I have a jacket, well, a t-shirt because I was trying to travel as light as I could. So I have this t-shirt just in case I get cold. So this is it. It was pretty warm this morning too. So when I really have on the weather and it hasn't been, it hasn't been really, it hasn't been cold for, for the weekend that I'm here. So we'll just do me here now and we boom bang. Cool. Guys, honestly, because I wanted to travel light, I don't have no comb, I don't have no gel, I have nothing. So 
and my hair only has been in a bun like this and that's exactly how it's going to take me home so i literally only walk with a brush so watch me as i do this bun it was blow dried but this morning it got wet on the boat ride and i showered a while ago and it get wet again so that's that so it's a bit trashy now but i work with it Is it? so i am going to go see a magic show by greg something I'll, I'll put it here or try and find a name when i'm actually going to take a, bit, a picture of the place but unfortunately they said no cameras are allowed no video taking is allowed nothing like that is allowed so i can't even give you a glimpse of what the show is so i mean it's their policy and i respect that at the end of the day, they don't want anything to publicized, so nobody's not going to watch them show, and I understand. The show starts at 7.30. It's now 6 o'clock or 6.30. Let me see. Oh, it's, it's actually now 6.30. So I am going to grab something to eat and then just head over there. So I'll see you. I didn't have enough time to stop and get something to eat so I just had something to eat there and all I got was wings and orange juice. So I'm just coming from the magician show, the magic show by Greg Free win and now fireworks are going on. It's 9.30 now and the fireworks are going on at the falls at 10 o'clock so I end down there now. It's about a 10 minute walk from which was I am, 10 or 15 minutes walk from which I am there. Guys, I've been walking so much, my foot is tired. Every time, every night, I go home, I literally have to put up my foot on the pillow. Them. But the nightlife nice. Just get a look. Close fireworks, everybody are into the falls. It actually was like a 10 minute walk, so it wasn't so bad. So I'm get some ice. Get some ice cream because honestly, me just nam some wings and belly not full. <laughs> I'm gonna get ice cream. It's packing up. Long weekend, so I place back. Heading to the falls, 20, 20 minutes to fireworks. I'm in order of fireworks. I didn't know I'm now. Everybody ahead of me. I have about three big to climb. Massy. Nice coming down, but no easy going up. <laughs> no easy going up at all. So, guys, yesterday I was so excited to go to skydiving, indoor skydiving. Um, I went out, did some stuff, did the boat ride, did the, the sky view or whatever. And came home really tired so i'm gonna come home come rest my foot like kind of lie down a bit and say about five o'clock i would go and do the skydiving when i check online i realized that the place closed only to realize that the place closed 4 pm so it's open from 11 to 4 so i couldn't go yesterday so now it's almost 11 o'clock and i'm saying i i'm hoping that i can do it still I hope it's not booked or anything like that. So, so I'm trying to get there by exactly 11 o'clock to see if I can squeeze in or whatnot. Um, so fingers crossed for that. Well, let's go. Watch Taya with our enough self. So I'm here. And... It's 
closed and it's like 11 minutes after it's like 10 minutes 5 minutes after 11 so I don't know do I wait do I go I don't know I feel like it's a sign so I'm gonna do it so you know how when you say when you don't really want to do a thing you say it's a sign skydiving is a sign yesterday I couldn't do it because by the time I'm ready to do it it was closed this man I'm ready to go them not open even though them said they're open in 11 o'clock when I'm gone the guy them said they're not open yet they're not open till 11 30 I start to ask some stuff some say you know what I'll take it as a sign especially because when I really want to do it but skydiving get cancelled one more I'm not lie, the sun turned up this morning. Turn up. Sister did have to find a cool shade because sun is normal today. Nice, nice weather. But not for me tonight.